Now let's discuss this further public affairs analyst Nelson Ekujimi, who is at Edo State to monitor the election, now joins me on the news to bring us up to speed with the situation of things in the state. Thank you for your time, Mr. Ekujimi. Now, what's the situation of things in Edo State um, at the moment? Are there specific preparations being made today ahead of tomorrow's election? And then are the polling stations fully um, equipped with the necessary materials? And our officials ensuring everything is in place um, as regards tomorrow's election? You have asked me a four-barreled questions. Four-barreled questions. One is that uh, elections is just uh, less than 24 hours away. And like you rightly said, that um, security has been beefed up around the border uh, states, bordering a do state. Yes, I also saw that. I saw a large con uh, contingent of the Nigerian army at the border point with Ondo state. I've also gotten the report from other states. Then, talking about preparations, uh, yesterday was the last day for campaigns, if you know. Uh, some of the parties went about in their carnival campaigns around the streets uh, in the various uh, local governments. And as we speak, uh, everywhere in Edo State is calm, is peaceful, everybody's going about their normal businesses, expecting that uh, tomorrow the elections will come and go, and it will be free and fair. Talking about the polling stations, you and I know that the uh, setting up of polling stations is always an ad hoc arrangement by INEC. Areas have been marked for polling stations uh, set up, and those are public uh, areas, not private residences. It's against the law to set up a polling station in a private residence. So the polling stations will be set up in public places where they are accessible to all and sundry. So the weather is clement. Uh, yesterday it, uh, it was raining, you know, scantily all through yesterday. But as of this morning, it has not rained. The weather is cool. Uh, it is looking sunny. And uh, we expect that the weather will remain the same again tomorrow. Uh, election day. Uh, all the stakeholders are, are prepared to do the needful. That um, there are, uh, there's every security presence in Edo State at the moment. I would like to know: Are there any reported challenges or concerns today that might affect the election tomorrow, such as um, logistical issues or political um, tensions in the state? Well, one has not observed any political tension, but don't forget that uh, the election has been pervaded by uh, violence pre the elections. I mean, the campaigns. You you just uh, showed the video of a police uh, spokesperson talking about uh, uh, violence before the elections stated for tomorrow. Uh, but by and large, one expects that with the presence of uh, security operatives around, even though they are not visible, like the security agencies usually do, you only come, up, come out on election day and you see them manning some areas. But days before the election, you hardly see them, except maybe when they are moving from one point to their uh, assigned locations. So one expects uh, that uh, the elections uh, will be peaceful because uh, everybody is preaching peace. Even if you listen to the uh, television station here or the radio stations, it's all about peace, peace, peace. And uh, we expect that uh, by the grace of God, that peace will, you know, uh, herald the election and, you know, see it through uh, tomorrow. Like you said, we expect that things gone peacefully in Edo State. Public Affairs Analyst Nelson Ikujimi, many thanks for bringing us up to speed on the situation of things in Edo State.